and the recording started. So we have gathered here to bounce uh, and write down uh, notes for the collision course. And uh, in today's previous session, we figured out some bits for Nali and Scribe after they have left Svalbard and after they are starting to track down the people who are in that mysterious list that they both that that got that has gotten both of their Jimmys in a Russell. Mm -hmm. uh, and now uh, we've decided uh, to take some notes on uh, the situation where the boys uh, have reached the first person that they uh, first person of interest in that list that they decided to uh, actually track down. They have tracked this person down, and now they are finding out that this person is dead. Yes. <laughs> dead. <laughs> probably, probably dead in an unpleasant manner, and uh, not too long ago. Does that... Oh, so, okay, how? Do they... Do they go to a house and knock on the door and the door's sort of like a jar and they push in and mm. there's like nasty smells and we're proper like No, like, I, I, I don't oh. I don't I don't think they uh, they stumble upon an actual crime scene. I, I think they uh, they get to the place like Think, think like small town taverns. I'm, I'm immediately starting thinking in like D and D uh, terms. Like you, you go to the town and you say, "Oh, anybody here knows da da da," and then somebody comes up to them and says, "Yeah, I, I know him. What do you need? Oh, nothing. Uh, can you take me to them? Yep." And then. They take them to I don't know some place where they find something gruesome and like, well you told you told us you would take us to <laughs> and like yep you're looking at them and showing them like uh, a pile of ashes or a grave or a jar and a bra with a brain in it or something. Brain in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> so so yes, there there is the potential that they will be shown something morbid in the process, uh, or like some something something that is left of the person. Uh, but basically, the the person should be should be dead for a little while already. Uh, should should have should have died in a violent and mysterious manner. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure about the timeline. Like uh, they might be dead uh, before our guys found the list, or they or they might be a little bit more freshly dead. Freshly dead. <laughs> Not too fresh, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, since we have established uh, in Seek uh, that we have we have a thing called memory crystals, which is basically like the person's uh, carbon uh, transferred in, uh, transformed into. Well, let's not say a diamond, but let's say like a ornamental crystal thingy. Uh -huh. I, I think uh, I, I think uh, I will skip brain in a jar and just settle with memory crystal or memorial crystal. Let me write that here. Memorial crystal. Such a fitting end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and uh, then I think the guys uh, should talk to the person who has the memorial crystal. Like it could be a spouse, a lover, a neighbor, a child. I don't know, but basically, you know, some somebody somebody who qualifies as next of kin could be a business partner. So some somebody somebody who used to be somehow close to the person of interest, and uh, and yeah, so Nali and Scribe would try to interview the the person and and find out more about the uh, the early departed. I'm just going to throw something out here. Mm -hmm. Possibly, uh, if it's like a uh, child, spouse, lover, whatever, it could be that since their their loved one's passing, um, a certain task around the house, like something that they would usually fix, uh, is no longer being fixed, and that could be one of the ways that the guys ingratiate themselves like gnarly does his thing mm -hmm. uh fixes the the thing and that sort mm -hmm. of ingratiates them with the person and, and they are more likely to open up yeah so uh i I, th I think uh like whether this actually works is another matter but gnarly would definitely try to do his thing and uh, scribe on the other hand could have studied this person family history a little bit and he could startle the person with uh, uh, with reciting uh, relevant data Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Those are surprises. The person. Okay. Oh, I oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. So so basically, uh, now both of the guys would have their uh, their single pony trick uh, that they will that they they might try uh, as a means to. Uh, interacting with people and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't well so in either case uh, scribe tries to approach from the side of information and Nali tries to approach from from the side of technology Some of these notes are probably redundant, but yeah, I want to get yeah, everything down. Yeah, and of course later on when when Jewel is also travelling with them, then she would uh, threaten the the person in question. <laughs> mm -hmm. and I know that this uh, uh, three-way uh, or like three flavors kind of thing. Uh, uh, at this stage it sounds kind of uh, like cartoonish or maybe a little bit on the nose like this is the guy who does technology this is the guy who does info this is the girl who does violence <laughs> but uh, but I would say that I would think that this is like the underlying uh, theme for each of them and the the specifics can vary greatly I, I... I think it's. I think the way that we're bringing everyone together is just like it won't. Mm -hmm. it won't be an issue, possibly. I mean, obviously, yeah, we'll have to yeah. When we get to the end, but I think the way that we're bringing it together, it's not. It's not. There's no. I don't feel like there's an element of convenience here. Like mm -hmm. things have been seeded in a certain way. People are following certain pathways. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, nothing so far about it has felt like oh. Well, that seems convenient. Yeah. Uh, no, so this, this is yeah. This is more like the foundation, or or indeed the character arc seeds. Mm -hmm. 
And because of that, I think it's cool that each of the characters are sort of different and they've got their own unique mm-hmm. take on the thing. That's the point I was trying to get back to, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We established very early on that that Jewel is quite a direct person as well, so it's not like it's just come out of the blue. Right, so they they have potentially ingratiated with themselves with this this next of kin, mm-hmm. um, and now they decide to hang around in this sort of town. Uh, I I would I would think that uh, what they do is. Uh, they they would try they would try to decide who to check whom to check out next and then instead of hopping uh, back to the ship or like maybe they maybe they do hop on the ship but they don't take off so instead of taking off towards the next person right away uh, they will do the homework and they and I would think that they find it easier to do the homework while they are in town or like basically they they don't just take off uh, without uh, uh, researching the next uh, possible candidate and uh, I think at first they they will try to search or cure Corey uh, about one person but scribe ha- I think scribe is the one uh, who has sent uh, or, or who is not just searching for one but uh, is searching for all of those in the list They discover that most other people mm-hmm. and but one question mark uh, have been mm-hmm. or gone missing or uh, died in mysterious circumstances. Uh, while in town, they should also uh, get supplies. So there, there should be some downtime where they discuss uh, what they have just learned and then they should stock up and then uh, that's I think this is this is the point uh, the part where they plan for the next uh, stage of the travel is where a scribe is like uh, oh Dude, can I stay with you instead of my ship? Like, uh, I and and he gives his reasons. And uh, timing-wise, hmm, uh, timing-wise, they should spend some time uh, in their rest stop because uh, the data that they are getting is not just lying around in local database but instead uh, scribe uh, is getting in touch uh, with the Svalbard data banks and and curing information through his networks so uh, uh, either either he gets in touch with uh, Svalbard itself or he is getting in touch with uh, some uh, data node uh, that is being managed by uh, uh, by Svalbard, Svalbard people but either way uh, it's gonna take some time uh, to send out the, the info or send out the questions and then get the info back so I would I would give them like I don't know, like like a week of downtime, essentially. Pal. Mhm. And can we hop back to the list 
document for a little bit. Of course we may. <gasps> of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> so I was uh, I was thinking, 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 thinking. Uh, So the quote unquote the list uh, the list would be like a fraction of a bigger documentation so it's like uh, the, uh, the, the idea here is that uh, the list whatever whatever we say about the list it has to sort of uh, be in harmony with what the scribe is doing like we, we have to sort of keep in mind what the, the scribe's data retrieval task was in the in servos moon base uh, and on the other hand uh, what uh, what knowledge find is so my thinking is that uh, from scri scribe's perspective, uh, Nali's list is only a part of the data that he was after. So, uh, when he was telling Sixteen that uh, uh, that the information that he's after includes people going missing, uh, then that is also true. Uh, so he he is looking. Uh, so so basically if if we if we approach all this from the idea that there is a specific conspiracy uh, from uh, from servo side then uh, scribe sees like one slice of it and Nolly sees a different slice of it and the list is where those two slices overlap <laughs> Those two uh, <coughs> slices overlap. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So, so basically, the whole information is bigger. The actual conspiracy is even bigger. But uh, the uh, the list that they are focusing on is like a specific piece of a puzzle. Like they 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 don't even know about the whole puzzle yet. They think that uh, this piece is is uh, it's a lead basically it's a lead that they are following and now they are starting to find out that oh no this lead is deadly this was all very convoluted but, but yeah basically what, what I what I tried to say was that uh, uh, the list and the people in the list are part of a bigger thing on this list I would think not I would okay. think that he he is like a he's a test subject from a previous batch mm. so it's like uh, uh, if we're thinking in terms of specific uh, testing uh, specific uh, scenario that the servo is trying to uh, test, let's say, uh, then uh, it could be that he is uh, he is gathering certain test subjects from certain areas, and the new batch uh, is related maybe to this list, but. Uh, but 16 is from a previ previous or like an older batch, so he wouldn't be listed there. And and this is this is actually what I meant uh, with the actual mission or the actual conspiracy or the actual puzzle is bigger than the list. Uh, so I'm thinking that the list that Nolly has, uh, this list doesn't even mention the people that go missing. Uh, from uh, from the region of interest, like that is a separate thing, or that that, that is another part of the bigger thing. That's uh, that's actually why uh, 
what sparked this uh, this uh, tangent <laughs> is that I started thinking about the people who go missing in a certain region and that is a whole puzzle piece in its own which is also part of a bigger puzzle but that that piece and the list are not one and the same is, is what I'm thinking there is a lot to consider here yeah but uh, I'm, I'm thinking uh, it will be easier uh, in the long run uh, if we don't try to make uh, scribes data, uh, data uh, retrieval task and the list match exactly because like mm -hmm. if we try to get them to match exactly we're gonna paint ourselves in the corner and uh, and I, I think the story will get more convoluted that way but if they're both part of a bigger uh, bigger inform information thing uh, then we can find the right solutions or or like right approach for for both of them and lead them together in the end that feels like a good place to call it for this video well, i was just thinking that oh. can you imagine right so to summarize what what did we what did we note down Oh, okay, so, we're going back to the situation mm -hmm. that we do. Uh, the guys have reached a place where they hope to find a person who is on uh, one either of the lists. The mm -hmm. lists are not the same, but they do overlap in places. Um, ah, 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 wait. Oh. Okay, here, here's, a, here's an important thing. So, I think that the people uh, whom the guys are trying to track down those people are part of one list mm -hmm. like and that one list uh, has more to do with the material that Nali found uh, and that uh, that list and some other stuff may overlap uh, or overlaps with the data the scribe found so hence the common interests but uh, this uh, this quote-unquote research and this this tracking people down has to do with this one narrow list, not the, not the mm -hmm. big conspiracy. Okay. Carry on. So they track. They go to a small place, uh, like I'm imagining a sort of settlement town kind of thing out in the middle of nowhere, um, and they they ask around to try and find someone and someone's like yeah i know i know follow me come with me i'll show you <laughs> and they get there and it's like either a gruesome scene or or i think we're going with they take them to this their other half spouse uh next of kin and it's like a memorial crystal. yeah yeah uh we are not doing the crime scene okay um so uh potentially at when they find out the person's dead, they try to ingratiate themselves with the next, quote unquote, next of kin. Um, and they go about it in different ways, like Nali could do his whole fixing thing, Scribe has done a little bit of research into the, the, the family and is able to recite some, uh, some knowledge about them that they might find interesting or surprise mm -hmm. them. Um, and they, I imagine they potentially get some answers about what happened and they then go either go back to their ships or go back to town to do further research mm -hmm. on other elements of the list and they decide they they find that most of the other people potentially all but one of the other people in the list has died gone missing in mysterious circumstances or died in mysterious circumstances mm -hmm. uh and uh this takes place over the course of a week like scribe has to send the data out uh, has to get answers back. That could take ages. He could be directly communicating with Svalbard or it could be nodes. And 
after they get some of this information back or, or, or all the information that not, uh, that scribe needs they stock up their ships and go in search of another person who i'm assuming is probably fortune at this point right mm -hmm. so yeah so they're they go in search of fortune and that leads them to jewel yes so the next uh, situation after this one or after the string of these situations the next one would be Archaeus 4 Right uh, I'm going oh, Sorry <laughs> 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 I need to stop this recording before I forget And done